This week on OSRL, it's time to put in the earthen floor for our earth bag root cellar. It's a lot of work. Probably a hundred cob mixes. And Jim is going to tackle it himself. Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to the channel. We're so happy to have you here. And if you're new here, just to let you know, my wife and I were building our own house off grid here in the Arizona desert. And if you caught our last video, you know I really pushed forward and I got a huge step done on our root cellar. I needed to get all these bags covered and I got them done. All the cob finished. But now it's on to the next step. And what's the next step you say? I'm glad you asked. I gotta start the flooring down there. I wanna get the floor kinda started before I put the roof on this thing. So that's what's coming up now. So it's definitely gonna be a lot to do. I gotta get started. Come on, let's get the floor done on this root cellar, y'all. All right, I've already spent some time cleaning things up around the root cellar, around the outside of the root cellar. It was just about time. Things had to get cleaned up, cleaning things up. Now, time to clean some things up down here. Shouldn't need this step stool anymore. We'll get this bin out of here. I always forget about those stairs. I, get, I gotta toss it away from the stairs. I'm pretty sure that slid back down. I got some tarps. I need to get these out of here. A shovel. Just clean this out. I'm gonna need the room. Okay, now that things are cleaned up down here, things are looking pretty good. I'm gonna get that tray of straw out of here. And then I'm just gonna kind of move some of the dirt around here, just level things off a little bit. Knock down some of the high spots, fill it into some of the low spots. Now gotta be perfect, just a little bit more level. All right, I'm gonna dig out this corner a little bit. Probably a little extra dirt, a little extra cob than I think it should be. Okay, I think I've thoroughly chopped the floor up in here quite a, enough. <laughs> now the fun part. So I was gonna start working on this yesterday. I was just gonna start spreading the straw around, but I really wanted to document this. I lost way too much light yesterday. I really wanna show you guys every step of the process. I don't wanna be like, okay, here's a bunch of straw. So, but basically I have all that straw from uh, when I was doing the cob still down here. So that's what I'm gonna start with. And I'm gonna try and get a four inch layer down around here. That'll be the start of things. So. That really shouldn't be too hard. Just start breaking it up and spreading it around. Four inches. It's already nice and cushy walking in here. I think I'm gonna need a lot more straw though. Yuvi, are you sure you wanna hang out down here? Oh, she's coming. Definitely cushy down here, I'll tell you that. Do we got four inches? I don't know, let's see. Right about at four inches. That's about what we're looking for. I used about over one straw bale 
in order to achieve it, I think we're looking pretty good. So this is just the first step of the earthen floor. Now that I got the straw laid out, I'm gonna take down the door form and then I'll be adding cob down here. But I'll get more into that later. Well, today is the day. This is a really big step. So now that I got the layer of straw down at the bottom of the root cellar, it's time to take that door form out. That way I can kind of get all around the floor and get that next layer just right. It's a big step. I can't wait to see what this looks like once I take that form out. All right, so everything's unfastened and I think I can pull the, the door form out. Jess is here watching. She's helping me record. Hey. All right, I think this should work. Basically, what I'm gonna do is uh, knock this frame out. We're gonna try this. I don't care if these uh, come apart. That's it, Jess. What do you think? Door forms are out. Honestly, I'm uh, I'm more excited about the floor. The floor is pretty exciting. I won't lie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's just weird now. Uh, yeah, seeing that the the whole wall comes around like that, and it's not really like connected yet. Oh, yeah. As of there, it just kind of has this weird hanging feeling. Yeah. <laughs> so the root cellar build is moving right along. I'm excited. Two huge steps out of the way. Got the straw done at the bottom. Fantastic. We got the uh, door form out. Huge milestone. It looks so different with that gone. And I'm just going to leave that plywood up there to keep those bags protected. But now it is time to move on to the next step. And this step is going to be challenging. It's going to be cob again, a lot of cob. Now that I got that straw layer down at the bottom, I want to coat that whole bottom with a layer of cob. But this cob is going to be a little different than some of the previous versions I've been making, like to cover the walls, and I'll get into that. But it's going to be a lot of cob to cover that whole bottom of the root cellar. So I have got a lot of work to do, and I'm going to try and get this done ASAP. Soon as I can get that done, then we can finally cover this thing up. Very, very exciting. So this mix is gonna be a little different from how I normally make my cob mixes. It's going to be very straw heavy. Again, I have not sifted any of this, so it's gonna have a lot of rocks and gravel in there. All that's fine. It's going on the floor, so it doesn't really need to be super sticky. 
So straw heavy, unsifted dirt, and I'm gonna make it a little wetter. I figure if it's a little wetter, it might be able to kind of self-level a little bit. At least that's my theory. Caught you. So I was working late last night, coming out here working with the headlights. Same thing this morning. It's a fairly warm morning. I think it's like uh, low 50s right now. Still a good temperature to be out here working. So I came out early with the headlight. Uh, I was out here about 5 a.m. busting it out, and you would think. Working late last night, starting early, I'd have a ton done. And I got a decent amount. But uh, there's still a lot more to do for sure. See, we got that, uh, that whole corner done. And then just working right around the edge. You could see it stop right there. So you could see I still have a lot more to do. Well, no one ever said any of this is gonna be easy. <laughs> <laughs> but just keep at it one mix at a time and I'm going to try and get this done maybe over the next couple of days I think it's going to take me a couple of days to knock this out of just hardcore carbon yeah it looks like it looks like it to me Another little zinnia just It's crazy how that's like trying to hang on to clearly got battered by the cold but Yeah it's uh, everything's still hanging on and looks like we got some late bloomers in here. Oh just like us. <laughs> We're at the end of another day. Sun's going down. Moon's already high up in the sky. And I'd like to be farther than where I'm at. It's not bad progress. I was just, I was kind of hoping maybe I'd be almost done. But I still got a lot more to do. Uh-oh. Looks like Yuvia spotted me. You're on camera, you gonna attack me? Ah! <laughs> Whoa. She's going crazy. All right, let me take you down to the root star, show you what's going on. Yuva, you can come too. Yuva, you wanna come? All right, so I'm still making a ring around here. We're all filled up in the corners. Ooh, it's getting dark. I got a lot of the large sections done. So I'm kind of moving in concentric circles kind of making my way back to the entrance. So as I get closer to that entrance, those rows of cob are gonna get a lot smaller, so it shouldn't take as long, but I'm already exhausted. I've been working at this for a good portion of the day. Justin and Peter were gone today, so you know, I was also kind of watching the dog, so it was I was being pulled in a number of directions. We're gonna see if I can finish this up tomorrow. Man, I'm definitely gonna have to get some rest and try this again. I got maybe uh, time for another mix or two before I lose light and uh, we'll, we'll get back at it tomorrow.
Well, today is another day and I'm feeling really good. I got a good night's sleep. I'm feeling energetic and I'm feeling a lot better than I did yesterday. It was just, man, yesterday it was a lot of work. I was getting real tired and I was just, by the end of the day, I was really slowing down. But I'm feeling really good, feeling a lot more positive again. And, you know, I just got to get back to it, start making more cob. I think I at least might be about halfway. I think I got a lot of the larger areas done. So now, like I said, each each row is going to be just a little bit less and a little bit less. So I'm going to start hitting it and hopefully, hopefully we get this done today, man. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. So I see you've invaded my cobbing space. <laughs> Is that enough room for two cobbers? There's always room for you. seeing you down here well what do you think wow look at this uh looks like you're almost done i'm getting there i'm getting there oh, oh. <laughs> mud hands <laughs> really busting it out you bet i'm busting it out <laughs> <laughs> i'm determined to get this done by any means necessary <laughs> i'm impressed good work Ooh, I've impressed. I've impressed her. Uh-oh. Oh, I got kisses. Oh, that gives me the energy to knock the rest of this out. Oh, that's my spinach. <laughs> <laughs> that's my spinach. All right, let's knock the rest of this out, y'all. <laughs> Thanks for visiting. Watch out. Uh oh. She's being crazy. <laughs> I got you. I got you. I got you. She wants to play, it looks like. You want to play? Good morning. I have excellent news. I got everything finished last night. I didn't record any of it because I just lost too much light. Too much light to uh, record anything. I worked into the evening and uh, that's just how it is sometimes. The days are just getting really short now and it's just something I got to deal with. If I want to make a lot of progress, sometimes I have to push into the night or uh, you know, get out there before first light and just kind of push through it. Of course, I'd rather work in the evening than the early morning because it is getting cold in the early mornings, I'll tell you that. But I got the floor completed, or for now. Uh, there might be some more things I got to do, but for right now, I got to give it time to dry a little bit and then I might go over with another layer. I'm not sure just yet, but for right now, we got it covered and it's looking really nice. 
it's come a long way since uh, I started this rebuild and uh, I couldn't be I couldn't be more proud. Ah, so exciting to see. I guarantee you this is a muddy, muddy mess right now. It's probably going to be a little too squishy to try and like walk on or anything like that. So it's going to need a little time to dry it for sure. So in the meantime, uh, maybe it's time to uh, move on to the next step, the roof. We'll see. Very exciting. So after all my hard work, Jess is out here now and she's going to take a look at things. She's going to tell me what she thinks. This will be uh, her first time. Wait, is she there? There she is. <laughs> uh oh, she's bundled up. It is chilly. But uh, this will be her first time seeing everything complete, so we'll get her reaction. I'm kind of excited to see what she thinks of all the hard work I've done. Surely she'll be impressed. <laughs> I'm sorry for dragging you out here in the cold. But she made it. Oh. <laughs> she's so excited to see my work, she's even brave in the cold weather. And by cold weather, it's probably like mid-50s. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! I probably can't step on it, kind of. You can try, it might be a little squishy. It's squishy still. So it looks kind of wet. You want to try? Test the squishiness of it. Can you walk on it? I mean, you're going to leave footprints for sure. It's squishy, but it's not like it's like mud where it's just you're pulling it up on your boots. Yeah, well, it's probably mostly straw. It is mostly straw. <laughs> oh. well, it's... How was it? How was it stepping on it? It's soft. <laughs> I'm sure the end product will be a lot harder. Yeah, when once it dries, <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> but wow. That is excellent. Probably a hundred cob mixes to do that. I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't keeping so. I wasn't keeping track. Three huge milestones right in this uh thing. I got the uh the door forms out, layer of straw down there, then a layer of cob. Mm -hmm. You impressed? I am. I'm very impressed. How impressed are you? <laughs> well, I think you deserve a kiss. Oh. But get that fly off your face first. <laughs> I don't want to be kissing flies. <laughs> oh, I'm a look a man. Look a look a man. I look -a like a man. If anyone gets that joke, you're old like me. Going out for a pretty long walk this morning, buddy. Got the energy today, huh? Uh, one thing is we made a final decision. We've been putting it off for a while because we've been kind of nervous about it, but we decided to take crew in for a surgery. That growth on his face is just getting bigger. I know you've been trying to see if you could use some natural remedies to shrink it. You've been giving him things in his diet, applying things topically. Mm -hmm. And uh, we used the medicine that we got from the vet to try to bring down any inflammation as well. Uh, but it's, yeah, it's just growing. And it, I can tell it's irritating him. He keeps rubbing his face and it opens it up and starts bleeding. So I figure that's, you know, that's not a good thing. And I don't like to see him uncomfortable like that. So we want him to be, to be comfortable. You know, we don't know how much time we have left with him, but whatever time we do have, we want him to be comfortable and happy. So we made that decision to take him in. That's going to be on our hearts and minds now for the next couple weeks until he gets in there. We think it's for the best. So it's, it's going to be pricey for sure, but uh, we just want him to be to be comfortable and just happy and healthy. Man, I'm really excited about the progress of the root cellar. It is seems like it's flying by now. 
took a while to get there and some of the process was pretty slow but let me tell you i mean yeah this project is big and time consuming for sure but it's like just getting out there and uh, even getting a little bit done each day sometimes you got those bigger pushes like those last few days i've really been pushing on getting that floor done i mean I, i've been out there like all day sun up to sundown sometimes even later getting that done you've been really working hard i know last night you you said your feet were killing you it's from uh you know going up and down those stairs and carrying things and just being on your feet all day yeah that's the crazy thing about those mixes is like because i couldn't do those mixes down at the bottom of the root cellar i was doing them by the roof so made the mix carrying it all carrying it all the way over to the root cellar down the stairs throw the mix down back up the stairs back over to the roof make another mix <laughs> getting water, getting straw. <laughs> I'm putting on a lot of steps. I got my steps in for sure these days. And you have been incredibly busy. You know, you usually really only have time to edit one video per week, but now you've been doing deluxe editing, but at least like you're doing at least like one mix a day. Going out there, at least getting like one cob mix, going up to the roof getting that done, getting outside a little bit, getting some fresh air, some sunlight, <laughs> so you're not hunched over the computer all day, but, and little by little, you know, you're gonna get that done. And I'm really pushing hard because we're, you gonna, we're gonna be utilizing this root cellar as like a temporary shelter as well to kind of stay out of the cold. So, and the cold temperatures are here. Yeah. This week coming up, but we're going to have temperatures in the morning at or below freezing. So we'll be utilizing this rocket mass heater as well to stay warm. That root cellar might be a temporary shelter. So I got to get this moving. And the uh, sooner I can get a roof on there, the better. Coming up soon, y'all. Coming up soon. All right, we'll catch you on the next video. Bye.